Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we'll see how to apply the free spin. For example, see, I've written contract, railway project, building project, road project, and water supply project. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just copy the same thing again. I'll paste it once again. I'll say control C and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. I'll say control V. This is done. Good. You know how it has to be done. Now let us say I just scrolled down. The moment I scroll down, I want to see this NCC. But I don't know what is this 23,523, like what kind of project it is. You're getting my point. This, when I'm at the top, when I'm at the starting of my page, I can see, okay, this 2,54,000 is a railway project. 2,50,000 uh, is my building. 4,55,000 is my road. And 2 lakh rupees is my water supply project. But if I scroll down, the moment I scroll down, and if I want to see this FCONS, in the FCONS, I don't know what is this, whether it's a railway project or, because that particular row, what I could see at the top is not visible here. So usually when you work on live projects, this kind of problem will occur. So let me come to the practical application of this. Okay. So this is one of my estimation sheet, what I had done. Okay. So I have written here, like this is number of member, length, thickness or width, height, area without deduction and area after deduction. That is fine. Here it's cl clearly visible. The moment I scroll down, no? now I don't know what is this row. I don't know what is this row because, because nothing is visible here. So in this situation, what you're supposed to do? So in this situation, there's an option called as freeze pin. So I'll explain you how it has to be done. Nothing. So wherever you want to freeze it, for example, I want to freeze this particular thing that is serial number. This particular thing like serial number, item disk, this everything should be here. It should not uh, disappear from here. So wherever you want to freeze, now you have to come below that, below that row. Like if I want to freeze this particular row, I want to, I should, to, I should click the below row. So the below row is this one, right? So I'll keep my mouse here. The moment I keep my mouse here, you have to go to the option called as view. So if you click on the view option, okay, it is already selected. Your cell is here. Come to the view and view this option called as freeze pane. Click on that. The freeze top row and freeze first column, usually we don't use. You go with the freeze pane and you click on that. Now it is already freeze. Now if I try to go down, can you see that? The whatever is at the top, it is already freeze, right? You can see that, right? Same thing I'll apply here. Okay, same thing I'll apply you here. here. So when I went down, what happened? It disappeared, right? So again, what I'll do, I want to freeze this particular pane. Okay, freeze this particular row. So what I'll do, one row below that you have to go. So one row below that is this one. So I'll select on this. I'll click on uh, view. I'll go on freeze panes and I'll say freeze pane. Now if I go down, can you see that? Yes. Now if, if I want to say Afcons, I know this is a railway project. This is building project, this is road project and so on. Yeah. So now there will be another problem. What is another problem? Let us say this is okay. Right now this is okay. What I'll do now, I'll copy the same thing again. I'll copy this thing again and I'll paste it on the right side. I'll say control C. I'll come here. I'll paste the same thing here. Okay. So control V. Okay. Done. So now this is understood. Whatever problem I was facing when I was going down, that is solved. If I want to see Afcons, if I want to see this, I know it is a road project. Now let me go to the right side. Right now I was going down. Now I'll go to the right side. Yeah. Now you go to the right side. Now I know that this is a railway project. This is the rate what we have. But who is the contractor here? That I don't know. Right. BL, uh, like this 2 lakh rupees, what you can see is water supply project. But which for which company it is 2 lakh rupees? Is it LNT? That, that is nothing is shown here. Because what happened now? Because Initially, up to here, LNT, Gammon India, NCC, I was able to see. But if I go towards the right side, no, I don't know which company is this value for. So again, now what we're supposed to do, again, we have to use the same command. But this time, always remember, whichever column you want to freeze, I want to freeze this column, right? I don't want this column to move. So next to that column, you select. That means I'll select this column. I'll select this column here. I'll keep it here. I'll go to freeze pane. I'll say, okay, first I'll unfreeze it. Okay, let me unfreeze the first one. Okay, let us say, yeah, let me tell you one more thing. Uh, I hope I'm not, uh, you know, confusing you. Yeah, so let us say, uh, I want to unfreeze. Now let us say, uh, I don't want this uh, to remain here. I want to unfreeze. Then again, you come here, go to this freeze pane. You have this unfreeze pane. The moment you unfreeze, no, now you again see the same problem is coming. So whenever you uh, want to freeze it, again, you come here and freeze it. That option is done. Now, this time what I'll do, I'll click on this. I'll click on this. Let me try to do this. I'll click on this. So this particular cell is 
below my row this particular row so this entire thing will get freeze now i'll select on this and let me see what will happen i'm not sure i'll select on this and i'll say freeze pane and freeze pane so this time i think yeah again this time what happened you know this time it has freezed it has freezed your this pane and it has freezed your serial number now if i go to the right side can you see i can see the serial number but again the problem is not with the serial number i want to see which company it is so what you will do again come back keep your mouse here go to freeze pane first you unfreeze it now keep your cursor here exactly why the moment i keep it here this is this is below this so my row will get freeze now i want to freeze my contractor that is i want to freeze this column also so wherever you want to freeze so next column you need to select if i want to freeze this column i need to go to this column so what i'll do i'll click on this and now if i go to freeze pane and if i say freeze pane now you see the magic if i go to the right side is it good now exactly now let us say this 2 lakh rupees is a water project that is okay for me so this falls under lnt company so this 20 lakh 25622 rupees this is a water supply project this is my gamma indian kushman wakefield so that is how the freeze pains will come in handy so whenever you are working on very long uh, data and all you can make use of that for example here also i can do the same thing here anyhow or right right side i don't require if you want you can go uh, if i go with this here also it's not required yeah I'll go to the costing part. Okay, I'll go to the, yeah, I'll go to the BOQ. In BOQ also, it's not required for me. So I hope you got an idea, like uh, what is the importance of doing this. Other than that, material cost and all is not required. Okay, no problem. Because here I cannot show you that application. So let us say, okay, I'll do one small application here. Let us say I'm going on the right side. Okay, I've added some values. Let me add some values just for your understanding. I'll just select these values. Okay. I'll say control C. I'll just paste it here. I'll just paste it here itself. I'll say control V. Okay, no problem. And then I'll increase the size of that just for our reference. Okay, yeah. Yeah, now you can appreciate that. Yeah, now let us see. Fine. So this is done. But the problem is in the square meter, I don't know which beam it is FP1, FP2, FP3, and all. So what I'll do, I'll just come here. What I'll do, I'll come here. I'll select this portion and I'll go to the freeze pane. First, I'll unfreeze everything. I'll select, I'll select here because this, this particular pane, no, this particular thing, I want it active. No? So I'll select this. I'll go to the freeze pane and I'll say freeze pane. Now, if I go to the right side, no, you see now. So now I'm, I'll be able to see. Now it is, now it is okay. Yeah. So this is FB1, FB2, FB3 floor beam 4 floor beam so this is the application when you work when you're working on a quantity when you're working as a quantity estimator or when you want to do the estimation so in that case when you have so much of cells you can make use of this freeze pen and through this you can see how we are trying to uh, freeze this particular pair okay now after this now we'll go to the next command okay the next command is very important next command is about the filter command now you see I have written LNT Gamma India. So LNT Gamma India up to here you have finished. I'll copy the same thing again. Okay. I copied the same thing. Yeah. So up to here I copied. Now again I'll copy the same thing. I'll copy the same thing. I'll say control C. I'll come here. I'll paste it here again. I'll paste it here again. Okay. Fine. So many times I copied. Again, if you want to give the serial number, see again you don't have to type 10 and all. Already I have given no, just select like this up to here and just drag it it will take on its own all the number will be taken on its own you can see number has come now i want to increase the row height so what i'll do is select all this row how you are going to do so we are doing the application of that now i'm selecting my rows here okay selecting my rows right click go to the option called as row height and make it like 25 and say okay so you can see all the row height has increased now okay good now question is that see i have lnt here okay yeah i have lnt here i have lnt here i have lnt here i have lnt here now i want to see what is the railway project building project road project and water supply project only for lnt so how shall i do that for that i need to use my filter command otherwise every time i should check one lnt is here then another lnt is here another instead of doing that i'll use a filter command okay so what the filter command filter command will help me to filter only lnt so what i'll do in that case i'll select this entire thing you start from here 
this entire thing I'll select. So once you select this option here called as insert. So if you go not insert uh, data, okay, you go to the option called as data, and you can see a command here filter. So again, you remember the shortcut for that, or you see here filter command is here. I'll click on filter. So what has happened now? The filter has come. Okay, so you can see all this uh, drop down button here. So this is my filter. So everywhere the filter has come. Okay, so now what will happen? Very simple. Now let us say I want to find the project only where LNT is uh, value I want to see. So I'll go to the contract to this filter. I'll click on that. Here first I'll say select all. That means it will uncheck everything. And only I want to say LNT. I'll click on LNT and I'll say okay. Now can you see only LNT contractor whatever cost we have for railway project, building project, road project, water supply and railway project, it is showing me. Now let us say I want to see about LNT and some other company. So I'll come here, I'll click on this, uh, LNT I want to see and I want to say FCONS and I'll say OK, finish. So now you can see the combination LNT, FCONS, LNT, FCONS. So wherever LNT, uh, three times we are taking LNT, so uh, four times, so it is four times LNT and FCONS one, two, three times FCONS. Now let us say I want uh, I don't want uh, LNT now. I want to check between FCONS and NCC. I'll click on FCONS and I'll check on NCC and I'll say OK. So now you can see NCC, FCON, NCC, FCON, it is showing. So when you have large set of data and you want to just compare between one or two companies or something like that, in that case, this particular thing called as filter command will be very useful. OK, so similarly, uh, we can apply the filter uh, command even for the amount also here you can see the amount no for that also you can do but usually it's not required i mean uh, it depends what kind of data you're doing but in my case the filter can be applied only on the contractor so that i can choose the contract to whoever i want in case if you want everyone you select everything everyone will come so everyone will come now well, let us say i want to put a filter on another two company okay let us say i want to go with shimizu and smcs i'll say okay so you can uh, get to see all everything only smcc shimizu smcc shimizu Railway project, what they have got, building project cost, road project, water supply project. So in this way, you can try to apply this filter command and work on that. Got it? So that is the importance of a filter command. Yeah. So now coming to the shortcut of this. So the shortcut for this filter command, first what I'll do, I'll just select everything now. Okay, since we had applied, I'll go to this filter, I'll uncheck this. Okay. So if you double click that, your filter command is gone. Okay. Now you don't have this filter command. So the best shortcut for that is you select this, select like this. Okay. The shortcut is Alt D F F. So you can see the by default, I'll, I'll write it here. What is the shortcut? The shortcut is Alt D F F. So first you press Alt, then you press D F and F. If you press no, by default, your filter will be applied. You can see filter is already applied. Now, if you want to remove the filter again, what you can do again, you select the same thing all the cells you selected and again you type the same thing that is alt d f f so filter will disappear either you can make use of this shortcut command called as alt d f f else you can come here and do that here also they have another shortcut command that is control shift and l that also will apply control shift and l i'll click everything control shift and l so i'll press control shift and l okay it will create a table no problem. I think uh, control shift L. No problem. You follow this one. Alt D F F. If you follow your filter command will be applied. If you don't want to remember or sometimes if you don't remember the uh, filter command, no problem. You select everything and then you come to this option called as uh, data and in data you will find the filter. So already you click on that. Your, whatever filter you have applied that got disappeared. Again, you select on that and then we'll apply it. Select on that go to the data and say filter the filter will be applied got it so here we understood two things about the freeze command about the filter command so these two commands are very much important whenever you practice any excel because when you scroll down this particular thing will uh, vanish so in that case you have to freeze okay so freezing we i taught you both the method one is freezing the row and freezing the column whenever you're freezing the row beneath whichever row you want to freeze below row you have to go and check you have to select and whichever column you have to do next 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 column you have to select if this column i need to freeze so this column i need to select whichever column i whichever row i want to freeze so below that so below that will be this one okay so this row is next to this row and this uh, this column is next to this column 
right and this row uh, this row is below this row and then you go and go to the view option and say free space you say free space if you want to unfreeze come and unfreeze so it will be gone it will unfreeze now if i go to the right also it won't be show, showing so got it so try to make use of these uh, two commands wherever it's required you can apply it in your projects so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you